Green, green, let's go. Le Mans Ultimate does not currently have a bespoke mode for virtual reality. However, you can play in VR with a few simple tweaks, which I will show you how to do. Whether you should play in VR, well, that's another question now, isn't it? Are you excited? I know I am. So let's get straight into it. And remember, we're born to respawn. All the footage you are seeing was captured in headset, so it is not indicative of my actual experience. Le Mans Ultimate has just launched into early access, and while that sentence may start alarm bells ringing in your head, the sim racing community has grudgingly agreed that it's actually pretty good. The cost of early access is currently £24.99 in the UK. Currently, it is a bit bare bones with only 12 cars, 7 circuits and no concurrent single player season to take part in. But if you want the fully endorsed world endurance car racing experience with GTE, LMP2 and hypercars, then this is the only place you can go. Plus, it has Sebring and Portimao, two of my all time favourite circuits. As I mentioned, there is no VR mode currently, but you can get around this with a few simple tweaks. So, here we go. I gleaned the info I needed from a fellow YouTuber called Adolfo BC, so please go and subscribe. I have put a link to his channel in the description down below. First, start the game normally on your desktop, go to settings, graphics, then window mode should be set to windowed, vertical sync should be off, FSAA and FXAA should both be off, then hit apply and close the game. Go back to your Steam library, right click on Le Mans Ultimate's properties, then in launch options type in plus VR. VR should be in capitals. That's it. I fired up virtual desktop on my MetaQuest 3. Le Mans Ultimate will not show in your game list, so open your Steam library via the interface and click play. The game will launch into VR, but you will just get to this placeholder screen in your headset. It won't jump into VR until you choose a car and get to the track. Once in the garage, you may be floating above or below your car. So just open the Steam VR tab and recenter. Done. And you are now in glorious VR in Le Mans Ultimate. So what did I like then? Well, the seven circuits are laser scanned. The cars sound incredible. The interiors are well modeled and the force feedback is very granular with plenty of feel. Now, this is where things start to go downhill a bit. Firstly, because of all the anti-aliasing is switched off, the game looks very jagged, so graphically, it is not as pretty as my current favourite VR sim, which is Automobilista 2. And I got some stuttering. The handling of the cars will take some time to get used to. They feel a bit floaty on track. They have a very snappy back end with an odd brake pedal feel. This just might be my experience with AMS2 or a setup issue, but it didn't feel right to me. There are seven circuits, 12 different cars, and it is based on the 2023 season. So no BMW, no 992 generation Porsche 911, no Alpine hypercar, no McLaren 720S, for example, though the 2024 season may be coming to the game at a later date. My biggest issue, however, is this. The opponent AI is dumb as fuck. Coming away from Automobilista 2 and its sublime AI, Le Mans Ultimate is a shocker. Trying to get round the first lap of a race without the cars bunching, smashing into each other, smashing into you, then spinning out on corners was a nightmare and absolutely no fun at all. So, as I stated at the beginning of the video, you can play Le Mans Ultimate in VR right now, but should you? The answer, I'm afraid, is a resounding no. I think the game has a lot of potential, but it is in early access. I'm very happy there is an officially endorsed World Endurance Card Championship game, but... I would wait for the official VR mod. The developers have stated this on their blog, which I've linked in the description down below. For our VR enthusiasts, rest assured we're diligently planning how we integrate this immersive feature into the game in a cleaner format, fitting of our approach to Le Mans Ultimate. We are going to have to wait for the full immersive VR experience, but if you're like me, you'll be gnashing your teeth to climb into these exotic hypercars and give them a damn good thrashing. As always though, what do you think? Are you going to be jumping into Le Mans Ultimate in VR despite its problems? Are you going to wait until the devs release the VR mode? Or 
Is this a sim racing game too far for you? You know the drill. Get involved and comment down below. Well, that's it for today. If you enjoyed this content, please hit the like button. The algorithm loves the likes. Plus, if you enjoyed this content, you could join my channel membership like these lovely people did. You get custom badges, emojis, and an exclusive members-only channel on my Discord. If you want to watch more content from my channel, you can click here or here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side.